imagine that uh, that you're living in a in an environment where what whatever you do is a, is primarily a legal question you have the world intellectual property organization in switzerland and it's a building with all marbles and it's a, it's like a high castle where all these lawyers discuss the future of copyright and something suddenly the internet comes along and napster comes along and there you have millions and millions and millions of people who are affected by this particular very narrow field and they are able to wreak havoc right they are they are able to turn it upside down. All the people are currently authors and they are also users. So every time you download something, you make a copy. And, and people understand that uh, the authors have to get uh, remuneration for their works, but uh, there has to be this contact point uh, where the authors and the users can meet. It's the question here whether these hackers make this happening. How do we integrate hundreds of millions of, of everyday citizens who know nothing about intellectual property, they know nothing about copyright, but they are on the internet, they are affected by their creators, they upload, they share, they download, they modify, they do everything. How do we integrate them, their voices, their ideas, their fears, their, their misunderstanding into this, into this highly, highly sophisticated temple that lawyers have built for themselves? in the last 200 years, right? It's a, it's a non-trivial thing, and it required a change in the mindset of this profession, uh, which included, like, yeah, these are, these, are, these are people who, have, who should have a voice, right? Who, who can help uh, understand what is copyright in a, in a digital 21st century environment. The biggest issue, I think, in general terms, is that how to make sure that the authors get remuneration for their works, but at the same time people get access to content.